Dental implants are one of the best way to replace the missing teeth currently known to humanity. Because of the titanium they are made of, which is very durable material, the implant treatment is something that could even last for life. However, implants are not immune to the challenges and require not only the proper planning and execution, but also a routine professional care. And this is something our patients tend to forget. It all begins with peri-implant mucositis, which is gingivitis, but happening around the implant. In this case, because only the soft tissues are currently affected, the full recovery to health is definitely possible using the conservative periodontic treatment. The second stage, which is the periodontitis itself, is much more severe disease, and this is the moment when the bone loss around the implant is already happening. This could cause the implant to become loose and need to be removed. The treatment of periodontitis is much more complex, but if successfully done, could stop the bone loss and even occasionally regenerate some of the lost bone. In case of evident bone loss and pockets deeper than 5 mm, surgical treatment is the only effective way of managing perimplantitis. And while there is no way to absolutely prevent those diseases from happening, today we will discuss the most effective surgical way of treating perimplantitis, very straightforward and easy to implement. Advanced periimplantitis presents with severe symptoms, but the patient notices none at first. You should look for bleeding, tender and red gums around the implant. You may not notice the tenderness or bleeding in some cases unless you apply pressure to the gums or the patient reports bleeding from flossing or brushing. Some patients may even see, taste or smell pus inside the mouth from the infection. As the condition worsens, you may notice your implant begins to move a little, which can also cause pain. If the condition causes the gums to recede, bone loss or a titanium implant can be seen. If the symptoms are still minimal, they may reverse on their own, but most likely at this stage, the patient must seek professional attention.